Hi. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I have talked to this camera. Just in general. Like, there's so much footage that I have on this SD card that I have not used. Posted anywhere in regards to social media. But hi, guys. I'm going to be doing another week in my life. I don't know how interesting this will be. Just for the simple fact that the last time I did one of these, I was doing a lot. And it was at the beginning of September. A lot has changed since the beginning of September. So who knows what's going to happen in this vlog. If it's going to be long. Hopefully um, it's not going to be too long. You know what I'm saying? But we, we, we shall see. Sunday, October 22nd. Today was a pretty busy day for me. I actually just got done looking at my next week for class. Which isn't as bad last week was dog shit i mentally was like not okay but this week hopefully should go a little bit better i only have like two readings one's 30 pages the other one's like three pages and i have two videos to watch and then i have like a discussion post or something or an assignment to turn in and then for poetry i've already turned in my my poem I just got to do the bibliography and the annotated bibliography for um, my partner in the class. I ordered my book that I need to do the reading of like two weeks from now. And the only reason I did that is so that I wouldn't forget it and to I'll probably read it next week on the way to my competition. That's a whole other thing. We'll talk about that. As of right now, it is 9.43 my job we have i found this on the web girl nobody was talking to you what i swear the fbi be listening to me but they don't find nothing on me because i'm a boring person and i don't do anything with my life it's up for live heavy weights be a full-time grad student and go to work that's it that's all i do what else i'm about? It's 9.45 now. We have a Discord for our job. And I'm going to go get steak and shake. I don't eat steak and shake, but I might get a milkshake. Just because. I see if my boyfriend wants to go and hang out. I don't have to work. He don't have to work. But we do need to go to bed. So we might leave a little early. Just go show our face and hang out and have a good time. And then leave. We both did not go to bed till 5 a.m. this morning. So... We should probably get to sleep. Um, good morning. Oh, I did not record last night, but it was with good reason. It was not a, just a, oh, I didn't feel like recording. Literally the moment that my boyfriend pulled up, I had like got everything together. I had charged like all of my batteries. So like I had extra batteries just in case. This SD card has like a shit ton of storage, everything, whole nine yards. The moment <laughs> that I put my shoes on, I was like, I don't want to take the camera. And I'm kind of glad I didn't. Because we did talk about just stuff like at work and things like that. I didn't feel comfortable filming all that stuff knowing that it was going to get put into a video. And it wasn't like us talking about like co-workers or anything. It was us talking about customers. And since we do work in fast food, it's just, you know, rather not. Uh, it's Monday morning. Good morning. Up at 8.30. But if I sat here and laid in my bed, I just took my linen off and I'm going to fold up all the clothes that I should have folded yesterday. But I was being lazy and did not do that and clean up my room you see all that stuff down there that's got to get cleaned up and moved because i'm flipping literally all of this and putting it on the side and then my bed is going right there so it's literally where my room was at when i first moved into this room it's pretty much like i have filmed a video from every aspect of this room except from over there because that was back in my area era where i didn't want to film because I didn't have anything to film with. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to set this camera up so that y'all can see me. I'll probably do it after I've done all of the nitty gritty stuff. Washing my linen. This is my comforter. I'm going to wash it last because it is on the thicker side. And then I'm debating if I want to wash my pillows too, which I'm thinking that that's what I might do. And the reason I took my linen off is because I put my TV and all that stuff, like all my electronics and stuff, stuff that I know that is like important is going to go on my bed because then I will be careful with it and I'll know where it's at. So like my TV and stuff is going on my bed. 
so that way why is my camera not fucking focusing on me like girl i'm the main character not my tapestry come on now and then somehow managed to mix breakfast up in there somewhere i don't have to go to the gym today so and i'm off but I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can because I still have a little bit of schoolwork that I want to do. I have like 10 pages, 10 pages, 10 pages of a reading to do. Just a bunch of other stuff. I have emails I need to send out. The whole, the whole nine yards. And I'm going to try. Why did my voice just crack? Am I going through puberty? Oh my God. My mattress cover has a hole in it. It's ripping. Well, look what I'm going to. I know what I'm going to be looking for. Is give me another mattress topper. If you don't have a mattress topper, you should get one. If you don't know what it does, it, like I it said, it fucking protects the mattress. But it's really good for preventing bed bugs from, like, like, if they're on the mattress themselves, since it's enclosed in something, they will die from heat. Because that is how you kill them. Also, why did everybody stop talking about the bed bugs in France? Because that was like a huge ass thing for like three weeks on Twitter. Everybody's talking about the bed bugs. How it was going to be this big bed bug epidemic. And that all these people traveling from France and stuff. Fashion week. We're going to come back here and we're going to have like an explosion of bed bugs um, invasion. And now nobody's talking about that. That's so weird how things can just change so fast in the news. Because now everyone's talking about the war. Um, I look different. I have a different shirt on. I still have the same shorts on, but and I slicked my hair back just a little bit because the bonnet was getting in my way. And I was sick of it. But I just got done stripping the linen off my bed, just moving everything that was in the corner. So what you saw in the previous clip, I moved literally everything from over here. It is like a whole. Can you focus? It's like a whole new fucking section. The only thing I'm gonna do is sweep over here one last time, and I'm probably gonna get the rest of these cords. So I'm gonna unplug my TV. If you can't tell, I'm watching Azia. You guys should go watch her videos. Love her. Um, but yeah, this is all my stuff and it's on my bed. Now imagine, all of this stuff right here that you saw was over here. <laughs> and Azia. And then I have my shoes. And then some other stuff that was put over there. So I'm going to sweep one last time over here before I makeshift this bed and move it and hope that none of the stuff that's on this bed falls off the good thing is it's on a wall so the only things that could potentially fall off are the stuff that's like on the side of the bed but i might move some of that stuff and kind of put it on the floor everything that's right here i'm just gonna do like a shift and just shift it over i just need it to be out of the way of the bed and then i'll be able to move it and then once I do, I do that, I'm going to take like an eat break and eat something. Get to get to doing what I need to do and making sure everything looks, looks nice. I want to talk about something. So this is a computer bag. I have my MacBook Pro in here, my gaming laptop, and my iPad. It's three grand worth of stuff in that bag. Is that insane? Yeah. Because the gaming laptop was $700. The MacBook, which is three years old was $1,300 and then my iPad was damn near $700. So you do the math. That's $1,400 plus $1,300. That is $2,700. It's a lot. A lot of money. But it's okay. We take care of our stuff. Um, and then I have my old MacBook and another computer bag. I don't know how much that one cost. I'm pretty sure it was over a grand though. But I just want to give y'all a little check in on what's going on. And then I'll come back after I've moved everything so you can see how it's flipped because once I get that flipped I gotta move my little nightstand also but that's probably gonna get moved last so I gotta move my nightstand along with my bed but I'm like I said it's gonna happen last because there's stuff on that and I want to be able to get all the stuff off my bed first and put where it needs to be and then I can move all that stuff that's on the thing on my bed and then I can move said drawer I lost my train of thought accordingly that's the word so yeah so I have finished flipping the bed and moving the TV successfully I think I said that right successfully 
in my other desk for gaming, homework, and streaming. So to give you a breakdown of what it looks like, here is this. Yeah, this is what it looked like on the other side, just less crowded. And there's actually a lot more room right here, so I'm kind of able to get away with some stuff. And then we have this down here. I don't know what I'm going to put right here because I kind of like this sitting right here. I guess my speaker that I have over right here. And then probably in this little corner, I'll probably have my um, clothes bin. So yeah, we got this. I am planning on getting a rug, so I feel like a rug would be perfect right here because there's a lot of open space. And then this was a tight fit, but I made it work. But I have my nightstand right here and my bed right here. And I haven't had, like I said, I haven't had my bed like this since I first moved in this room. So it's cool. And then this is just going to stay the way it is. I know it looks a little cluttered. Yeah, it just needs to be organized. But we're going to do all that stuff. So right now, I'm about to go heat up my leftovers from yesterday. And I'm going to eat some of that. You probably eat some yogurt. I know it's a weird combination, but yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'll come back and get start getting stuff like done done. Because I'm just happy everything looks the way I envisioned. I'm not too shabby about the TV being right there. I don't know how bad the glare is going to be once I lay in my bed. But I'll see about that later. Because I'm rarely ever here during the day anyways because I work. So... Who knows? Um, the only time I'm here is when I'm off on Mondays and the weekends and when I come home in the evenings and by then the sun's down, especially with the time change starting to come around. So, yeah. Another check-in done. It's now 2 o'clock, essentially. I'm going to door dash me some food because what I ate earlier is now gone. But I have moved everything. Streaming setup, which is going to get changed. I got, I got some stuff in my cart right now, so I'm going to like try to get that together. And then we have my TV and like all the stuff right here. This will get changed around once I can get a new bed frame, which I'm thinking I'm going to do. Then we have my shoes lined up right here, and then my speaker and its little stuff right here. And then my window seal, and then my bed. I'm waiting for my comforter to dry, but everything else is fine. And then we have this. Y'all need to see all that. Y'all already know what it looks like. This stuff that's up here on this wall, I was literally just thinking about this before I turned the camera on. I think I'm going to flip it and put it on that side and move this. But I'm slowly moving out of my tapestry area, area, era. And I think I want to like do something different that's not a tapestry. I'm thinking about getting like those piece mine frames thing, like printouts. Having those hang up, hung up behind my bed. I don't know. I just want something different that's not that. I feel like I'm slowly moving out of my tapestry area and all the tapestries that I do have, I'll keep them. Whenever I move into my own apartment, I'll find a place to like put them on the wall or whatever and put them in different rooms. So, so I just feel like that era in my life is just slowly moving out. Nothing against them. I love them. They're so pretty. I just feel like I've moved out of that time in my life. I think I'm going to take it down, probably buy like some frames or something get some stuff off of Etsy but for now I'll just keep it how it is I'm gonna play around with my stream setup because I don't know how that's going to look because I'm trying to get my floodlights and stuff together because that is a big part in how my stream setup looks is because I haven't had a chance to do that on stream and I was gonna do that with my old room setup but I just never got around to doing it because school got busy probably got busy life got busy and I stopped streaming but hopefully I can start streaming again, if not this Saturday, Halloween. So, we shall see what's going to happen. Because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do streaming-wise schedule because I'll still have class on Thursdays until, like, the week right before Thanksgiving. And then I'll stop. And then I won't be able to stream on Thursdays at all because next semester that's when I have my in-person class so yeah Thursdays is just completely just off limits because the classes are in the evenings they're from 6 30 to 9 15 so but yeah um I'll come back to you guys with the update if I get a chance
I know I haven't said much to you guys since I started this clip for Tuesday. I wanted to do a silent morning. I didn't want to do a lot of talking. I just kind of want to show y'all what, what I do daily life when I'm getting ready for work. And that's pretty much what I do. Get up, make my bread, make my bread, make my bed, and then go cook breakfast. And then if I have any laundry that I like put in the thing from last night, then I'll fold that and then I'll put on my clothes. I just didn't want to show you guys me doing that because it's kind of redundant. Are you getting ready to go to work? Um, about to leave, but I had to make sure my gym bag and all that stuff was packed. And because I'm bringing you guys with me to the gym, you guys are gonna see me train. Yeah, I have bench today, so it's a very not low key day, but still low key. It's not as hectic as tomorrow would be. I think I'm gonna bring y'all with me tomorrow. I just have to see what my coach has me doing because I don't know what he has me planned for. I never know until I go and look at the thing. And then I'm gonna come home and I gotta find my road mics. I have no idea where it went. And the thing was, it was sitting on my TV and then I went to go look at my TV. Is that it? Yes, it is. Oh, thank the Lord. These bad boys right here, well this bad boy, this thing was $200. Like, you know how expensive that was? Because once I get done competing, I'm gonna start back doing my dub videos because I'll be in a different place because my gym, unfortunately, is closing. Gym, y'all seen me training, all that good stuff is closing on November 10th, and I'm just so sad. And so now, nowhere else to go. I knew I was planning on taking a break anyways after the comp. I was gonna take at least like two, three weeks off from the gym. It's gonna be around the time that um papers and stuff do in my classes, and I just really need to focus on that. The gym can all always wait and sometimes you just need to take a break for your mental health because when you come back and start training again it makes it fun because you're you're coming back you're not starting over but starting over essentially yeah i'm gonna be trying to find somewhere else to go i have some ideas right now i still have a membership at crunch i just don't drive so i said after the comp that's gonna be something i'm gonna be focusing on is getting my license and um getting a car Right now, I'm doing really well with driving. I need to work on backing up, so I guess next week that's something that I'll tackle with my boyfriend and see if I can get that together. What I mean by backing up, I mean like backing up into a parking spot, not like just backing up a driving lot. We're gonna like do a little bit of parallel parking, but parallel parking is not that big of a deal. I will know, I will need to know how to do it if I'm going to live in Atlanta, but. That's, that's another topic for another day. But when I do decide to go get my license and stuff like that, you guys will be coming with me. What's up, guys? Um, so I'm at the gym by the workout. I started a little bit late because I sat in the car with my boyfriend for like 30 minutes and just talked conversation. But and then I ended up talking to one of the girls at the gym. Yeah, I'm about to work out. Today is my chest day, technically. So I'm going to read to y'all what I have to do. And then I'm going to show y'all what I have to do. I have comp bench, three pause bench, dumbbell incline bench, chest supported row, cable row, dumbbell hammer, hammer curls, and then cable face pulls. So this is what I have today at the bottom. It shouldn't take me that long, especially since bench is only one set. It's like one rep. It shouldn't take that long, and then the pause should be fine. So I'll take y'all through my warm-up process, like what I do, and then just going to do each thing. I might not record every single session of what I'm doing. It'll probably just be like one set of everything. I might show you like the warm-ups and stuff, but that's about it. So.
guys, I'm back. I'm home. Um, I ended up cutting off halfway through my workout because I got pissed off while I was at the gym and it was getting more crowded. So then I didn't want to risk my camera getting knocked over because I was already pissed off. And if somebody would have knocked my camera over, that probably would have been my final straw. I probably would have either hit somebody or cussed somebody out severely and then have no gym membership, even though my gym is closing. So friend came to get me. I'm sitting right there. Um, I'm about to do school work. Try to get a good bit done. It's 7 30, so I'll probably get done around like 10 because I have to finish reading, do another 15 pages worth of reading, and then watch a YouTube video, and then read another thing, and then start on another assignment. So I just wanted to give you guys a check in of what I was doing. Today started off great, and then as the day continued on, it progressively got worse. We love when that happens. But the gym was great. Besides getting mansplained to about how to do my workouts and stuff. The pump was great. I look great. I feel great. But everything else, no. So. If I don't talk to you guys again before the end of the night, I'll just talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. Last night ended up being a very interesting night as i do i was with my boyfriend so i did get a genuine amount of school work done but halfway through my brother is sick right now and he was around us um sunday and so how i handle sicknesses is there's a three-day window essentially kind of almost like covid where you have like a five-day window but i gave myself a three-day window i gave myself a three-day window between him so that'd be monday tuesday and wednesday today's wednesday Honey, there. you've got a big storm attack. coming. And I haven't had one of those in so long. It's been a very long time. And this time, it felt very different. Usually when you have a panic attack, like you you can feel the anxiousness already. Like that's the first thing you feel. So then you know that it, it feels like it's just a normal anxiety attack, a heart condition. So I have to pay attention to that because it can just act up or become one of the other ones. It's a very thing that can happen. I was laying there and I was like trying to find my pulse, but I couldn't get anything. Like it was very faint. Like it's very faint right now. I got it now on my arm, but last night I could not get like a pulse. Like, but the thing was, it was beating like this. Like it was, it was going to the own beat of his drum. I told my boyfriend because we were laying down together. And he was like, you want me to check? And so he laid on my my chest to hear my heartbeat. He was like, it's going really fast. Are you okay? And I was like, I feel fine. I just don't understand why my heart's going fast. So when I turned to lay on my back, that is when the anxiousness kicked in. And it was almost like, it was like, you know how the rush of goosebumps are? Like when someone like brushes up against you or a wind brushes up against you. It was like that, but like 10 times as bad. And I was like, yep, there it is. There's anxiousness. So at first I thought it was just a normal anxiety attack. And he helped me like, you know, calm down. And then I went to go check and see if my coach had put in my workout for the rest of this week. And he did. And I was reading it. And all of a sudden I got super lightheaded. And I was laying down. And I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> I should not be getting lightheaded. And I'm just laying down. So I get up and like sit up. And it got ten times worse. I start crying. And it just wasn't fun. And I was actually like watching one of those videos where it's like, you live in a penthouse and it's raining and here's some jazzy music. I was just telling him, I was like, I used to love doing this back in 2020 when I lived by myself in my room in college. I was like maybe that brought back some like unwanted memories and it didn't, like it did. And it really sucked. And I just wanted to tell people that the social media people look like they're okay, but you never know what someone is going through people will mask things all the time and will never say anything and I'm one of those people I have high functioning anxiety I have bipolar disorder and I have depression and you get used to masking stuff because me coming out and saying I have BPD people would be like that bitch crazy and it's like I'm not crazy I just have manic and depressive episodes but you never know when they're going to happen that's the thing. It sucks. And I think October is Mental Health Awareness Month. If it's not October, it was September. Just check on people and make sure that they're okay. And when someone is telling you that they don't feel good or 
they feel a little bit off don't try to give them advice on how to help without feeling off or whatever just listen because a lot of times we're just asking for somebody to listen because we probably don't have anybody in our corner that will be grateful to have a boyfriend that is understanding and have somewhat of a family that is understanding even though there are lots of things they don't completely understand about mental health they still have an idea of it but there are lots of people who struggle by themselves every single day and they have no one to talk to so just know that you are not alone and that you are enough and i'm saying this stuff to myself too not just to you guys i seem very down today but i am so i don't know how much content i'll film i know i'm going to the gym today i'm supposed to be hitting a pr so hopefully that'll i don't know make me feel a little bit better i guess which has been going one for one for 145 so we're gonna see how all that moves it's gonna move that's my pr on squat i have not done that so it's gonna be real fun but i love you guys and i will talk to you guys at some point later but i have my other mic on right now so i'm hoping that it sounds okay because it's plugged in like if you guys were to see my setup right now it'd be like what the hell because it's like this big ass like wind muffle and then the camera and then my tripod so i'm gonna finish picking out what i'm wearing to the gym and getting ready like i said i'll talk to you guys later What's up guys? Okay, so I'm in a better, somewhat of a better mood. It's kind of because I'm at the gym. It was weird because when I left the gym, when I left work and I was heading to the car, my brain was like, it's game time because my coach has been doing a PR today. And this is the first time I've had like a scheduled PR in my thing. So I'm like really excited. He has me doing 145 for one. I am going to need a spotter. So hopefully by the time I like work up to my top set, we'll see do it i know that i can do the weight i just want to be able to do it with good depth because if i can do it with good depth this is what i'm thinking this is this is where my head is at the comp i could open keep it light keep it light open 115. if i get the 115 and it goes where i want to it moves the way i want to the comp next week i'm gonna go for like the 135 which i know that's a huge ass fucking jump but hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It could work. If not 135, I can definitely go for one, like do 115, then like 125, and then do 135. Because if I can do that, 115 plus 125 plus 135, it's 375 to my total in pounds. Kilos is different. Which would be pretty damn good. That's almost 400. But my math could be wrong. Because what is 25 kilos in pounds? That's 55. And then what, bitch, what is 20 kilos in pounds? It's 40. So I'll be have, it'll be 44, 40, 4409. Plus 4409, which is 88, and then the bar is 45, and 135, 133. And then I would, I'll do the kilo math later because trying to convert shit from kilos to pounds is really hard. And when you put in your number for you to squat or whatever, it'll be that. And then also tomorrow, I'm trying to figure, not tomorrow, but Friday, I'm doing 90 and 95 for bench. And I have not done those in like almost a year. So if not a year, it was at the beginning of this year. That's going to be cool. I might have to text Ron and see if he can like come so he can spot me and like hype me up. Because if those move like they're supposed to and they go up with fucking ease and there ain't no problem. Listen, baby. <laughs> The comp I'm gonna go crazy because I'm gonna have so much confidence. But I say that, and then next week my period comes on, and then I feel like I'm weak because I still have to work out next week. But I have my bag, and also I wish y'all could see the fit, man. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I'll still be able to see it even if I stood up on this. <laughs> oh, you can. Okay. The shirt is from Swole. <laughs> Shorts are for a fitness fashionist. Use code Liz with JC for 10% off. 
This is not a sponsored video. Socks or Nike. Also, A7, please send me my shit. I ordered a fucking shirt and two pair of socks. Please send them. I need them for my comp or I'm gonna cry. Because I kid you not, everything I'm wearing for the comp is A7. The only thing that's not gonna be A7 that I will have on is my underwear, my bra, and my belt. Everything else is literally A7. So they should sponsor me. Because my shirt gonna be A7. My singlet is A7. My knee sleeves are A7. My socks are A7. It's all A7. Gotta get chalk and baby uh, powder. I need to make a list of like all the things that I need to get. So yeah.
so I'm finally home. I'm getting Chick-fil-A. One of the guys from the gym who I'm like really good friends with, he um, made the Chick-fil-A. So I get something to eat and so I was eating that. I was supposed to start on homework at 7.30 and it is now 7.50 and I'm just starting on it. Fine, because I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do first and then do the last part of my assignment and like kind of get that done. And then I know I need to take a shower tonight. I'm probably still gonna take a shower because I wanna wash my hair because I don't wanna wear it in a slick bag tomorrow. I kind of just wanna wear it in like a puff puff. So I think I'm gonna do that. I wanted to kind of like debrief because I ended up cutting off my workout like halfway through. You guys saw me do like my last set I think of no you saw me do my first and second set of the goblet squats and then I turned it off one because the, the gym was getting crowded and two I was just I already had dropped my camera so I was worried that like it was just the thing I want to I'm kind of glad I didn't finish doing it because food ended up kind of going down just a little bit while I was there and I didn't want you guys to see that on camera I didn't film because I like halfway through the workout like I got to like exercise number four squat deadlift god was yeah and like my mood like changed i like texted my boyfriend and i was like i don't want to be here i want to go home and i did that did my rdls and then i went to the group fitness room to go do my other workout and i was fine my mood was fine so i don't know that just comes with you know having mental health but i'm about to do my school work what i'll do is i'll show you guys what i take my shower with because i'm gonna exfoliate because i didn't get to do that on sunday because i knew i was going out and i don't like to exfoliate knowing that i'm gonna be leaving the house right after because your pores be open so i think i'm gonna exfoliate do that so i'm gonna show you that stuff and then i'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night watching stream so yeah I just got out of the shower. Well, I've been out of the shower for a while. I'm trying to debate if I'm going to do skincare tonight, which I think I am. And if I do, I kind of want to show y'all, but y'all already know what I do for skincare anyways. But I still might record it just for the sake of y'all knowing that I do it anyways. I my hair. You can tell. Looks all nice and fresh. That honestly felt amazing. And then I used my scrub and I can feel it on my skin. It feels great. feel wonderful. I feel very refreshed. And so now I'm just watching Danny on stream. So just come with me and watch him and relax and hang out.
Hi guys. I have not talked to the camera all day. I know my hair looks a little crazy, but I'm gonna put it up in a bun. The reason is because I am sick. I have a scratchy throat. I woke up with it this morning and I was like, well, maybe if I get up and start like moving around and doing stuff, it will go away and it won't that be that big of a deal. Drinking my water the whole nine yards and it like wasn't clear y'all know that feeling of when you drink water and you think your throat's gonna like the scratch is gonna go away and it doesn't and then you're like the fuck yeah that's what happened with me like made breakfast and i made like a good breakfast like i made me some eggs my yogurt and i put a little bit of this is going to all of the difference. It, it didn't. So I came and laid down. I didn't even finish my breakfast because like I just felt I just felt bad. I, don't know, I was texting my boyfriend and I was like, babe, I don't think I'm coming to work. My boyfriend work at the same place. Like, what's wrong? And so I told him I was like throat's hurting, scratchy, and I feel super fatigued. He was like, Can you get your best friend? to cover for you and I was like she's not gonna answer the phone I called her and she didn't understandably so it's her day off I can understand that one to answer your phone and they're just texting managers that opened and I was like hey I do not feel well I feel like shit I, I called out and I laid down and so I took some music notes and some like amoxicillin that I had I took ibuprofen 800 and well maybe if I take a nap I'll feel better I wanted to take a nap eventually took the nap up and I felt a little bit better, but my throat was still scratchy. The fatigue was still there. I ordered Chick-fil-A, I ate some soup. The soup definitely made my throat feel better and I ate some chicken nuggets just to kind of have some protein in my body. I was gonna take another nap and I didn't. I have been drinking water. I'm trying to get over drinking water. Like I don't like drinking when I'm sick, but that's when you need to drink it the most. So I'm trying to do that. Tried to take a nap and it didn't work out. Class in three hours, so I'm about to stop being lazy and finish this next assignment I have for class and go ahead and get that turned in. And try to get started on reading this other poem book that I have to read for class for class because I have to speak in class so that's gonna really mess me up but I'm gonna try to text my mom and see if she can go to the doc doctor text my mom and be like hey queen can you go by Walmart and get me some stuff I'm gonna try to see if she can get me some more of the third coat tea I know I have three more cups of it three more things and I might drink one right then and then I might wait and drink another one right before class I'll probably drink one in the morning when I'm getting ready work like having it because it does work Let's try to get her to give me some benadryl because that might help because there's no point in me going to the not the emergency room med stop i don't have any sinus congestion or anything like that and it doesn't feel like drainage it just feels like my throat is just severely aggravated so i'm just gonna take some benadryl tonight that'll knock me out and hopefully that'll help i keep taking the mucinex and the amoxicillin because i've been taking that all week because i know that this time is just the time for people to get sick and people have been walking around here fucking sick and then not telling nobody that they feel bad and then you wonder why you end up feeling like shit did they give me a used book they did oh my god what in no wonder my book was like damaged i was trying to figure that out and it's because they gave me a used book and they had the nerd to put new on the bottom it's not nothing new about this book anyway it's friday i sound like dark vader this morning i felt a little bit okay and then as the day has gone on i have just had ups and downs of feeling good and feeling bad home i end up going to the doctor i end up leaving work early I could go to the doctor before three and they swapped me for covid and flu i knew that those two were going to be negative because if i one had the flu i would one know back to today they swabbed me for COVID and flu and it obviously came back negative. Well, what's hurting? And I was like, it's my throat. <clears throat> my throat hurts. Constantly having to my throat and like trying to swallow. Oh, they're fucking ready already? <sighs> Fuck me. My boyfriend literally just, man. And I just got comfortable too. <sighs> Fuck. And I need to go get it. So I guess my dad, my dad would be like, hey, bestie, can you take me to Walmart so I can get this? I, when I tell you I want to get this in my system immediately, immediately, because they're giving me cough syrup too, and I cannot wait. Because they're going to give me that cough syrup, and I'm going to go out. I'm going to be slumped. I have strep, but I have like a very mild version of it, and it just hasn't gotten worse. And I think a part of that is because I have been taking amoxicillin, which is really good when you have strep or any type of thing going on with your throat anything that could be um, a viral infection oxycillin is the way to go i've been like 
downing mucinex i took benadryl last night and i took two of them i took one at 9 45 and i waited another six hours because that's when you could take another thing because the half-life zero is like three hours so it was pretty much out of my system by midnight but i was asleep because by then i was knocked out because the benadryl had kicked in so i woke up around three in the morning and took the other one and i was fine so the benadryl is definitely working so i i think it's just the amount of medicine that i've had in my system is my body's like all right we can kind of fight this off and then my mom got me some vitamin c so i took some of that last night and i took two tomorrow this morning um and i also been drinking like my throat coat tea and then i've been drinking a shit ton of fluid like i have gatorade in the refrigerator right now and i drunk some at work and i've been drinking like downing water so they prescribed me penicillin and like i said the cough syrup the penicillin is going to knock that shit out of the water because like i said i've been taking the amoxicillin so i'm just going to stick with the penicillin and hopefully tomorrow fingers fucking cross i can go to the gym because like i said i started my period so i wasn't even going to go to the gym anyways because of the fact that i started my period today it is finally saturday so i'm feeling a little bit better the only thing that is wrong with me right now is i have mucus and like the back part of my throat so i've just been drinking a lot of fluids to try to get that out i've been drinking water i literally not too long ago woke up from a nap so what i'm about to do which i explained this yesterday is that bookshelf you see right there it's gonna get flipped i made my bed i'm about to put my little comfort on and i'm just gonna let you guys watch me get that all set up and then once i do that i'm going to declutter all of this right here so it can look nicer and then show you what i got in the package today the mail today and i'm going to show you the rest of my stuff for my comp because my socks came in my shoe my shirt and they always give me like you know something cute so yeah and then i'll show you the other stuff that i got yesterday that came in the mail along with this stuff so right when I decided I was going to clean my room, my mom came home. So I didn't have to go to Walmart, but I'm back now. So I'm about to start doing this. But look what I got while I was at Walmart. I got another, I got a baby Yoda. So I have another thing now. You actually saw him when I was going to go get other stuff. And I saw him and I needed to have him. So I have him and now I have more stuff. And the crazy thing is, I'm not even a Star Wars person. Like I like don't like Star Wars at all. But I love baby Yoda because he's just so freaking cute. So now I have one. Um, so he's going to sit on my bed while I finish doing this
cut off the camera like halfway through because I was getting distracted. It wasn't going the way I wanted to. But I did get everything moved. So as you can tell, that is flipped. All my stuff is on it. And then I moved that lamp over there. And then the one that I originally had over here is over there now. I'm going to open these packages that I got from A7. I'm not going to show you the front of it because if I show you the front, then y'all know where I live. And y'all need to know that. So they gave me a sticker, which I have like a bunch of those. Right, I guess this one's going to go in my water bottle because this one's actually different from the other ones. So it's going to go on there. I think I'm going to get another water bottle. I have the other stickers that I have on that one too as well. They gave me Cherry Airhead. And then this one says I Demand Greatness. But it's red this time, which actually matches my outfits, which I might wear on calm day and then take them off i don't know um but they give you these and i have a gray one like this and i have another one that's like a more silicone feel and it says three white lights but the other one also says i demand greatness because that is her thing give you a little card that has a note on it and a little front part which is that i read to you it says there is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving and that is your own self so you have to begin there. No, not outside, not on other people. All he is Huxley, and then on the front of it, it says thank you for your support in choosing A7. A7 started as an idea in 2014 when we looked at the world around us and we knew that we could do more and be more for others. We set out in a sample, a simple mission, and one that we still live each and every day to help you reach your full potential. We wanted to share some love and appreciation on the back of this note card we included a, a motivational quote that can set you up to put home tain putting your home to maintain a seven mindset i have like three of these so i probably will probably might put them in like a little frame or something so we hope this quote motivates you to do more, live more, and sh keep striving to be the best version of yourself each and every day. Life is a lot like a constant push for a new PR. Once you pass one milestone, you can focus on the one name next. We believe in you. Thank you for believing us. Sincerely, Jason and Tatiana Founders. I love this company. One day I can like work with them. I've been here. And they gave me another sticker. It's another A7 sticker. Which is really cool. So it's definitely going on there. For sure, for sure. I'm going to put those on there. Shirt to go under my singlet. These are my deadlift socks. And then these are my crew socks. So I'm going to try all this on. These are the deadlift socks. Really cool. And like I said, they match my um, singlet and stuff. And they say demand greatness on them. And then it has A7 up at the top. They're really stretchy. Um... So these are the ones I wear when I deadlift. These are the crew socks. These are what I'll wear when I'm benching and squatting. We'll say demand greatness, which you won't see that. You won't see any of that because the shoes obviously will cover that up. And then we have it says A7. Has the thing on it and what it is made with, the companies and stuff like that. Um, this is the shirt from the front and it says demand greatness on the front. I got it black because I can wear this shirt again, but wear with something else. Um, but this is the shirt and just says the man greatness. And then I think on the sides, it might, yeah, it says A7 right here. And then on the back, it has A7 again. Because I didn't want to have too much red since I'm literally going to have red on for everything else. So I'm going to try this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put it on. So this is the singlet that I have to wear. Her comp obviously like I said it's red and black and I have the shirt on um I won't have this under my arm so if you can't see it I won't have this on I have on my seamless ones um I put the deadlift socks on so you, I can see how long they work and they're pretty long they like reach like they stop like right above my knee so it's perfect um I already know how these don't fit they're just normal crew socks so yeah I just want to show y'all what it looks like so this is what you'll see this is what I'll have on next week but my hair will look different because I'm getting my hair done so yeah I was talking to my mom and she's like oh it looks really cool blah, blah blah so I was thinking I was like imagine you're getting ready you're about to go deadlift you put your belt on cool whatever 
by the way this is my SPD belt which also matches which is really fucking cool got my belt on go in get ready 250 loaded on the bar bend over lockout cool oh three white lights you know how crazy that is it's insane but yeah this is my belt y'all saw this this beautiful bad boy really camera thank you um yeah yeah love my baby she's so cool three hundred dollars well spent but yeah really happy everything's turning out the way i wanted to looks great i look great it's gonna look dope so good morning guys it is officially sunday i look a little different and i sound a little bit better i am not as i wouldn't say sick but we're getting better it's not as bad as it was before um i just want to close out this video thank you guys for sticking through it it wasn't the most eventful but that was on me because i decided to get sick but i did try to make it a little bit eventful here now we're on the last week of prep so i'm actually getting ready to go to the gym i have decided i'm just gonna do my big comp lifts and then i'll just do some accessory movements just to kind of mix both of those days together because i still don't know what my coach has me planned but i just want to say thank you for watching this video thanks for sticking with me and i will see you in literally the next video which will be this weekend for my comp so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one love you guys so much bye